welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain fourier transform of cosine signal so let me define first cosine signal and then we will calculate fourier transform of cosine signal so if i consider cosine signal is x of t and that is varying with respect to time t then graphically you can see cosine function that will be like this so here that is 0 this will be minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 so cosine function that will be continue then after but i'll be considering range of limit in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 for a calculation of integration for fourier transform now here this is what half cycle that one can clearly see and for half cycle total time bd here is in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so for half cycle total time bd here that is what actually pi so here for half cycle t by 2 time bd here is pi so from this we can say time bd here is 2 pi and if i want to calculate angular frequency omega then as we know omega is equals to 2 pi f and that is 2 pi by t and if you place t so this 2 pi 2 pi will get cancelled so we can say omega is equals to 1 radian per second so now if i want to define x of t cosine function then x of t cosine function will be if I say this amplitude is A, then it will be A cos omega t, where omega is equals to 1. So we can say this x of t is A cos t. So now we will calculate Fourier transform of A cos t. So let us have calculation that of that Fourier transform of A cos t, which is this cosine signal. So Fourier transform that is x of omega that is Fourier transform of x of t. So basic formula is minus infinite to infinite integration x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now here we can place x of t that is a cos t. So if I place that limit from minus infinite to infinite a cos t e to the power minus j omega t dt so here a is constant one can take it outside integration from minus infinite to infinite now see this is what in terms of e to the power so i can represent cos function in terms of e to the power so cos t is what actually cos t that is e to the power jt plus e to the power minus jt divided by 2. So let me write it here e to the power jt plus e to the power minus jt divided by 2. See that is how we can represent cos t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now here we can multiply this over here so that we can have total exponential function and then we can integrate. So here one more thing that we need to observe this limits cost limits so that is happening in between minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 so instead of minus infinite we should write minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and now we should do this integration so if we simplify further minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 and a by 2 that will come outside and here this will be e to the power if you take jt common then for first term it will be 1 minus j sorry 1 minus omega for this first term plus again if i take jt common then this will be if I take minus sine even then 1 plus j omega see that is how it will be there 
now we can integrate this over a time so if i do this integration then this will be a by 2 into e to the power jt sorry jt into 1 minus omega divided by 1 minus omega that is integration of this and this j is even coming over here so 1 by j 1 minus omega plus e to the power again minus jt into 1 plus omega so integration of this divided by this term that is minus j 1 plus omega and limits are from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 now we need to simplify this further by placing these limits here so let us do that simplification so e to the power j into 1 minus omega into pi by 2 minus e to the power j 1 minus omega into minus pi by 2 so I am writing minus over here pi by 2 like this divide by j into 1 minus omega and this is one term and plus e to the power now see this minus j again 1 plus omega into pi by 2 minus e to the power minus minus plus j into 1 plus omega pi by 2 as c minus sign is there and minus pi by 2 so minus minus plus power will happen divide by j into 1 plus minus j into 1 plus omega now to represent this function in terms of sine and cosine all i can do is i can take this 1 minus omega term outside and this 2 inside and similar for this case even so let us rearrange this term first so see now I will take a divided by I am just taking it for both of this term separately so a into 1 divided by 1 minus omega that I can write it over here and this 2 that I am taking inside so e to the power j into 1 minus omega pi by 2 minus e to the power minus j into 1 minus omega pi by 2 divided by I can say 2j so this is what sine term and similarly over here this will be if I take negative sign here then this will get plus and this will get minus and 1 divided by 1 plus omega that I am taking outside so plus 1 divided by 1 plus omega into e to the power this term will get positive and this term will get negative as negative sign is over here so j 1 plus omega pi by 2 minus e to the power minus j 1 plus omega pi by 2 divided by 2j as this 2 that I am taking inside so now we can represent these terms in terms of sign so I am writing it first here so this is a into this is sine of 1 minus omega pi by 2 divided by 1 minus omega plus this is sine of 1 plus omega pi by 2 divided by 1 plus omega now I can write this in terms of sampling function and as we know sampling function is sin t divided by t so I'll do that adjustment here so all I'll be doing is I'll multiply pi by 2 
n divided by by 2 so that is what I have done for both of these cases so if I do that adjustment then we can say this is a pi by 2 into sampling function of 1 minus omega pi by 2 plus sampling function of 1 plus omega pi by 2 so a pi by 2 into sampling function of 1 minus omega pi by 2 plus sampling function of 1 plus omega pi by 2 so that is what Fourier transform of cosine signal so I hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video and you can download this material from my application and your suggestions are most welcome so please do give your suggestions definitely based on it in future I'll make videos which will solve all those queries which has to be solved over here from my channel thank you so much for watching this video